Hello, I hope you're doing great. In this video, I am gonna go and do some improvements on the bot we've done for the Fall Challenge 2022, which is a multiplayer coding game contest organized by Coding Game. Uh, last time, what we've done is that we started with the uh, starter AI that Coding Game is providing, which is basically just reading the input. And we made a couple of changes to make the game, uh, the AI do something. The first thing here is that we are finding our optimal spot, spot to spawn a robot. And we are trying to find a place where uh, that's really close to a lot of tiles. And then we are making the robots move uh, following the uh, a list of target tiles. Basically, we find the tiles that we don't own and we look for the closest tile to move to. That's very simple. And I'll be honest, I have, before this video, tried already to make some changes. However, uh, it was like uh, I've recorded a, like a 20 minute video that was uh, quite nice. I enjoyed it. But we only have 15 milliseconds per turn. And I was doing something that took too much time. And if you take too much time to reply, you just fail the game. So if you take too much time on one turn to choose what to do, that's it, you're disqualified from uh, this specific game. So basically I've made some um, clever changes and I went from rank 500 to rank 1500. Basically the bottom of the, of the bronze league. So now I want to make some tiny changes and see what happens. Uh, so the first thing, let's play the code and I'm going to show you. So here we are playing against the default AI. Uh, and here what happens, uh, we are here the blue on the blue side. What happens is on the first turn, let's see. And our AI is doing something good on the first turn. Let's play an, another game. So there are some times when two bots choose the same target uh, goal. And that's a bit annoying because it means that they collide. But yeah, here, that's a good example. Here, those two bots, they choose to go to five and seven. So let's, let's actually, yeah, we can actually see here move um, so 5 8 or maybe it's this next one 5 8 5 8 to 5 7 and 4 7 to 5 7 so there are two uh, 5 7 yeah there are two bots here Let's say, okay, I like this specific square. I want to go there, but mm, that doesn't really make sense because uh, you kind of waste your energy here. It would have been much better for this bot to go to the right. Uh, so one thing we can do is we say, once we have a specific target, we can actually remove this target from the group. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do target size dot, uh, shift. And instead of like just reading the first element of the array, we're gonna remove the first element of the array so that next time for next tile, we can't go again to this specific position. So we're just gonna try to replay this and see what happens on the turn, I don't know if it's turn three or four. Let's see, that's gonna be interesting. So yeah, let's actually, Okay, see, that's awesome. That's really exactly what I wanted to solve. Uh, previously, these two robots were going to this specific destination and now they are discovering two new places. So instead of coming together, they are going to two 
different places. Uh, and if we go further, you see our bots are really spread on the map everywhere. So yeah, there are some issues. So for example, here, those two bots, they are trying to go to these two places. If you go to the next, next turn, those two bots are still trying to go to the same places. However, this bot is winning the, is the first to choose, and they choose to go to this place, so this other bot has to go to the right. This is bad because this bot in one move could have uh, conquered this tile, and now we need this other bot to come here, and this bot needs to, to go somewhere else. So, this is the weakness of what we of this solution. Uh, then, here, as you can see, I'm spawning bots on a tile that has no way to move. Well, we have no way to move, so that's really bad. So yeah, there are like a lot of things we can improve here. But you know what? We need to learn and see, is this change a good change or not? So before we go further and make some more complex changes and maybe break everything, we're just gonna test the code in the arena. arena. So while the but are uh, playing against each other. I'm just gonna pause and we're gonna see the end results. Okay, actually, I'm watching these uh, games here and I think I found something really interesting on this specific game. Uh, so the opponent is creating a lot of these uh, recyclers. That's fine for us. We don't want to create them just right now because it's, uh, it makes the game a lot more complex and we need to make really good move before we start playing with the recyclers. Um, otherwise, we just do a half of a strategy and I think this is not good. I think we, to me, a key of winning is really making like awesome moves and then playing with the full uh, list of full options. So here we have those bots two and three, and basically here, the bots that are here, they never move. You see, there are more and more bots, they never move. So I think what's happening, uh, what can we do? We see, you can see the game information. This is five and three. We need to find uh, five and three. So we tell uh, okay, we say spawn one mod one more bot here, and here we say move five bots from this square to position four and three. So here you see we have something that we can improve. Uh, we are telling our bots to move on uh, um, on one of those recyclers. So that's not good. The recycler shouldn't be part of the target. Um, so we need to understand what, what, how to solve that. So here we, there is a very cool button, send game parameter to the IDE. And the thing is, we have now the exact game that we are watching we can uh, see it here and replay in the same condition to debug this specific scenario. So one thing I want to say as well, I think, oh no, we're still battles in progress. So yeah. So let's see here. Okay. So now how can we know? We're gonna here just display console error target. And just a reminder, it, we need to do console error to display an STDR. Otherwise, if you do console log, it will just break the, the, the game because we use console log to send the action to our bots. So we replay in the same conditions. Now we're gonna go to around turn 10 and we're gonna see where we want to go. Okay, so here we were, yeah, let's see here. 
What is this? We want to check when we go to 4-3. 4-3. Okay, so there is... Here, we try to go to 4-3, but there is a recycler here. So we need to remove the, these nodes from our target nodes. So here, target tiles, up tiles, dot filter, tile, and we should make sure uh, there is no tile dot recycler. That's it. That's uh, one thing that's useful. So that now this node would inst this bot would instead go try to go to this place or this place, and they would basically go the, in this direction. Let's actually replay and see what happens. So yeah, like this kind of contest is a lot of small changes like that. So it's good to spend a lot of time just watching the game, making some small changes, improving, and yeah. So here you see they are doing the same thing as previously. They are making the recyclers. And now you see we are moving down. Oh. And yeah, we lost any, we lost our bots anyway because they made some recyclers here, and they cut the the way to go. But we have fixed a bug, so that's a good thing. Now let's see. I'm just gonna wait until there is the end of the ranking. Then we're gonna push our new AI into uh, the mix, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so with our change where we don't push two bots to the same place, we have managed to gain around 100 positions. So now we have, have to test on latest change, which is uh, removing the recyclers from the possible targets. Let's just test, test that. Let's see how, go how good it goes, how well it does. <laughs> I was thinking while uh, we our code is running in the arena, what one thing we can do is play against the bot AI because basically right now our goal is to beat the bot AI so that we can go to the next league. The next league is currently closed and it's only gonna happen open in like five days. But if we can already beat the bot, it means we are or we already have our room in the next league uh, so let's see what happens here oh yeah as you can see they are really good they already mastered the um, recyclers here so that might be the next thing that we need to do uh, find really good spots for recyclers so that we can spawn more robots uh, because we fixed a couple of issues with the movement, so yeah, the bot is definitely doing some. Uh, it's, it's not a good, good thing, you know. Perfect choice. They have six bots here that are left on a small island here. They can't move anywhere. But yeah, here on the main island, on the island that is contest, they have like a lot of room. So the recyclers are really powerful because basically once you put a recycler, you cannot go through it and it's eating like a couple of spots. So that's really solid thing, the, the recyclers. So here sometimes, as you can see, the recyclers where they are put on a place where they, there isn't enough resource, it can uh, explode and leave some squares around it. So here there is one square, square that isn't removed by the recycler. Uh, so that's a good thing. So yeah, there, there, there's going to be like a lot of strategy around the recyclers. Where do you place them? Do you place them on a, on a spot that has a lot of scrap or a spot that has less scrap? There is a lot of opportunity for crazy plays, so I'm really looking forward to that. 
Uh, yeah, here for Empire of the Beanie, you have 10 scraps here. That's a really good thing, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, do we have our final ranking? No, we still have to wait a bit. Okay, so this is really interesting. We actually have lost a little bit. We went down in the ranking after the last improvement that we made. Um, the last improvement that we made is this tile.recycler uh, thing. And to be honest, I think this is one of the examples where rank, the rank is not everything. Here we know we have made something better. So there is no way to... Uh, yeah, we, we are not removing this. We are, we are keeping this. Uh, the only thing we need to be careful is to check do we have some uh, timeout. I wish there was a simpler way to for the AI to say, okay, we have a you have a timeout or you don't have any timeout. Uh, maybe this is like some code that we need to write, you know, <laughs> check all of the last battles and check if there is a timeout or not. Maybe I'll write that. <laughs> I think maybe I have rewritten that piece of code somewhere. Maybe I need to fetch it. Anyway, I think this is good enough for a video. This is uh, some small improvements. We've seen that our bot is doing something better. Uh, and if we want to really improve the bots, we need to be even better. And we need to master those recyclers because as you can see, here, uh, we, this is not even the middle of the game. The opponent, which is a default AI, has already more uh, bots, more squares, more scraps. So they are really ahead of us. Um, so there are a lot of decisions to make. When do you put uh, this? Where do you put it? Uh, yeah, that's... A lot of decisions, uh, how, yeah, how to optimize them so that you can uh, have as many scraps as possible, how to block the opponent with this, because that's also one challenge. You could just go to the middle here and put a couple of recyclers here, here, here. Actually, I think this is what they do. Yeah, here you can see they put a recycler here so that it blocks our butts here. Yeah, they're, they're. there are a lot of options on what to do. But this is for next time. Thank you so much for following this series. This is kind of new. Don't hesitate to share your feedback. If you see something that you like, if you see something that you don't like, it's going to be super helpful to refine a bit the, the next videos. Uh, please drop a like <laughs> to make the video more visible. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.